folks, how you doing today? So this just came out of the shop. I have two of these. This is one of them. As you see, it's a menu board. We believe it was from the A&W root beer stand. When I got these in, I was fortunate because the plastic was in good shape and I got brand new menus as well as the plexiglass that goes in front of them. Thought they were cool, that's why I bought them. Sent them out, had them polished. We put little signs, and here's little signs right here. So we put, they just slide in the pockets, Dr. Pepper, A&W root beer. You can put your own name in there. That's kind of nice. You can theme it yourself. You see they're two-sided. Let's get with the speakers. We got the light on the side right here. I did not, they, it's a two-inch pole. I did not put them on a pole. We can do that for you, but then the shipping cost kind of goes up. But if you want a pole, we'll give you a price. We'll get on a two-inch pole, and we will make a base for it if you want this stand, or you can do it yourself. Otherwise, just a nice, clean little sign. They light up nice from the 60s, I believe. Uh, these are really cool if you got a hot rod or something, you put it by at your car shows, or you know, put it by the window, get a little tray, put a hamburger on it. Anyway, very nice piece, stainless steel, gone through, brand new signs, plastic's good, we had them polished, great little piece. Put it by your car, you'll enjoy it. Thank you. Back in Chicago, back in my day, the competitor for A&W root beer was Dog and Suds. So it was known for the Coney Dogs and root beer. Dog and Suds. A Chicago brand.